Coach, congratulations on this honor. We were talking before we started rolling. First coach that we know of from a Division II and also from a historically black college and a university to be on this committee. How did this all come about? Well, first of all, thank you, Sean, and yes. Bill Hancock uh, called me just before the holiday season. And uh, to be honest with you, he was at the, the induction of the um, College Football Hall of Fame, December 2019. And I had to give the uh, response for all of the uh, inductees and I didn't know this until he called me the other day. And of course, he had reached out to uh, Dr. Thomas, the commissioner of the MEAC. And when they gave him a call, I was so excited because, again, it's, I think it's a real honor and it's an opportunity to give back to what I think is the best profession, profession in America, and that's coaching. You've done it all in the sport. Now you add on to this by being a part of this committee. Um, and you mentioned you'd like to give back. What, why does that mean so much for you to get back to the sport? Well, I always thought that uh, as I speak, moving around, that there's three parts to every career. The first part is when you build yourself, and that is when you put your knowledge base together and research and just learn all you can about the profession. And then once you learn all that you can, you put a high work ethic with it, and people there will want you to be a part of their organization. That's the first part of your career. The second part is what I call maintenance. And this is where you, once you move up the ladder, uh, you make sure that you stay away from your own self. Uh, you have to make good decisions when it comes to uh, your, your social life, your professional life, and making sure that those decisions uh, that you make, again, will afford you to keep moving forward and not, you know, move back. And the third part of your career is, to me, you should always give back. And you give back because you got to where you were because somebody gave back to you. So this is an opportunity for me to give back. When you, first of all, were you actually, were you a little bit surprised that they reached out to you, you know, albeit, you are a Division II coach, mm -hmm. Hall of Fame coach, HBCUs, uh, et cetera. But it's a, div a, div a Division I level, yeah. different level. Mm -hmm. Were you surprised that they reached out to you to be a part of this committee? Well, I think the surprise really is what I'm saying when I say I was honored because we look at some of the first persons that were on this committee, Condoleezza Rice. Um, you're talking about Willingham that was at Notre Dame. Mm -hmm. um, you look at... The, uh, who you are voting on. Uh, you know, this is the final four of the top level. Uh, so again, that's why I think it's a real honor. And certainly you had to go and do your, uh, they did a background check. Um, they called around to several people. So real honor and um, yes, surprise. But it all still comes back to hard work does not go unnoticed. What do you hope to bring in your term as a part of the CFP committee? Well, again, you know, you watched a lot of film. You evaluated a lot of uh, games. Uh, and just that integrity um, and maybe, again, coming from not so much the business world or the uh, political world, but a coach someone who understands when someone reaches a certain level of success, what it really took to get there. So that's what I really hope to bring. I know a lot of people will talk about, you know, they hope to have eight teams. They want to expand it from four. I guess I can ask you, do you, do you envision that being talked about amongst the committee members as, you know, we get you know, closer to the season mm -hmm. next year? Well, we have our first training uh, the first part of April, and then we'll go back in August. And I'm sure uh, those kinds of dis decisions really, uh, it starts with Bill Hancock, uh, because he's done an outstanding job of putting this committee together. So we're just not sure what kind of conversations are going to be going on, 
but I look forward to being in the room and uh, and being a part of it all. And I guess that's the biggest thing. Now you're in the room. You gotta get to see the inner workings of how this all come about, and maybe, like you say, give back when you come back to Virginia Union and talk to members of the CIAA. Well, you know, I was talking to Dr. Lucas earlier today in our cabinet meeting, and um, what we again see as from this platform, the opportunity to. Um, Get to know some of the, for instance, Charles Huff, uh, he played for me at Hampton. He just been hired as the head coach at Marshall. I think the lifeblood for uh, Division II in terms of uh, finance and resources is to find a way to get more revenue gains. Uh, I've already told Charles Huff uh, that Virginia Union will be available for a revenue gain. So it just broadens your connection, your contacts, your uh, persons that uh, are in it at a higher level. And we're just excited to be a part of that.